Hello and welcome to West Energy Saving Technologies, manufacturers and suppliers of cooker miser and vent miser, precision controls for ventilation fans and systems. My name is Phil West, Managing Director and Founder of the company and I would like to take a few minutes of your time to explain how our controls work. Our controls are very different to any others in the market. It dynamically sends when cooking or showering is taking place rapidly extracting unwanted moisture and pollutants which can damage the fabric of the building. Following the cessation of cooking and showering, the inbuilt overrun timer will turn off the fan or take a system back to trickle mode to conserve energy. The idea of sensing cooking appliances came to me whilst designing a solution for reducing cooking related false fire alarms for student accommodation at Nottingham Trent University in the 90s. Following the successful development and proven performance of this unique control device to sense the current of electric cookers and toasters, I decided this method would be ideal to control fans and centralised ventilation systems in airtight dwellings built to the current building regulations. To be suitable for all dwellings, we needed to sense the usage of baths and showers. And whilst the current sensor could sense the use of an electric shower, we needed a solution for conventional showers. Following a few days of R&D, I came up with the idea of incorporating a thermistor sensor clamped securely to the dead leg of the hot pipe serving a bath or shower. Over a period of 11 years, we now have over 22,000 units installed throughout the UK with student accommodations benefiting from some 14,000 installations and private housing by some 8 to 9,000 units. I would now like to demonstrate our unique controls to you. For this demonstration I'll use our standard demonstration board together with an induction hob where the power of the induction hob will be sensed by the current sensor. Firstly, I'd like to go through the controls on the board. Um, the first one here is the blinking LED. That tells you that the unit is healthy. The LED above that shows that the load is present at the moment that is not lit. The top LED shows that the power has been recognised and power has been put to the fan to trigger the fan. To run. This is the fan overrun time pot adjustable from 1 to 25 minutes and this can be adjusted on site to clear the room of pollutants and odours at commissioning. Moving along from there is the load pot and that is adjustable to two now very low currents such as radios and things of that nature in student accommodation in particular. Going along is the transformer, down from that is the relay which switches the fan. Below that are the safe extra low voltage terminals. Terminal 1 in this case is used to sense the current of the cooker. Terminal 2 is used in this instance to sense the temperature of the dead leg of a hot pipe. And the override is there for the push button control to boost the unit manually. I'll now turn on the hob. After a second or two, we'll see that the middle LED illuminated and the top LED also illuminated, indicating that power has now been supplied to the fan to give extraction. I will now demonstrate the overrun timer by turning off the cooker and the fan will run on. You will see that the middle LED is no longer lit and the fan will run for a further one minute. You will now notice that the fan has turned off and the lower LED remains blinking, showing the unit's healthy, ready for the next activation. I will now demonstrate a further feature, and this is the push button manual override. 
push and hold and you will get 25 minutes worth of ventilation push and hold it within that 25 minutes and the fan will go off you must note that this button will not turn off the fan wherever it is under control from either the current sensor or the temperature sensor there are separate algorithms within the software conversely if the push button has been pressed and the fan is now running an activation is seen of the cooker that will then override the functionality of the push button and default to the algorithm of the original software and the middle LED will glow I will just quickly demonstrate this you'll see the middle LED has lit and full control has been taken over by the cooker rather than the push button this will now shut down in one minute once the load from the cooker has been lost and there's the LED now non-illuminated as you will see pressing and holding this push button now is not operable the unit is locked into the algorithm for the current sensing mode and will remain so until the expiration of the one minute on the time pot. But now I'd like to demonstrate the temperature sensor on the pipe. I will use the hot gun to simulate water, hot water flowing through the pipe. I'll apply some heat to the pipe. And you'll see that the middle LED is glowing, the top LED is now glowing, and the fan is running. As the shower finishes, so the pipe will cool down. As the pipe cools down, the LED will no longer illuminate. This will leave the fan running against the time pot, which is set at one minute. So this fan will now carry on for one minute to clear moisture and pollutants from the bathroom.